Hello guys, welcome to this, the first video review on techmadeeasy.co.uk. Uh, in this video we're going to be looking at a piece of Windows Mobile software called SPB Mobile Shell 3.5. Um, just to show you quickly, the device we're using here is a Toshiba TG01 uh, Windows Mobile, running on Windows Mobile 6.5. And if we just turn it on here, we can see the default Windows Mobile 6.5 home screen. Nothing wrong with this home screen, a lot of people like it, but when you compare it to competitors such as the Apple iPhone and uh, Google's Android phones, um, it's fallen behind quite a bit. Uh, you do have options for music, photos, how to use the phone, uh, email, calendar, and everything like this, but anything more, you've got to start going into this program menu and then things just get a bit messy considering that uh, most Windows mobile phones, especially this one, have uh, the old type resistive touch screens which can be quite difficult to use uh, when you've got to be clicking everything all the time. So an alternative to this is uh, SPB Mobile Shell, which you can see is installed down the bottom here. Um, once selected, this will run continuously, so it's not something you have to open every time you turn the phone on. Uh, we'll just start it up here. It just takes a few seconds to load. And there we go. So you can see straight away um, it's a lot more appealing interface. Um, it looks a lot more similar to um, the Google Android product. Um, the good thing about it is that all of these widgets on the screen here, um, you can move around, you can change them for quite an extensive library of different widgets. Um, just to take you through quickly, we've got a clock with uh, an alarm monitor, we've got a battery indicator, we've got a connections monitor which will allow us to see the different connections that are currently in use. We've got a profile selection, which does a similar thing. Uh, we've got a live weather feed, and then we've got uh, icons at the button for email, text messaging, our call log, and any voicemails we've got. But the good thing about this is that if I just tap and hold on the screen here, you see all of these become selectable. And from there, what you can do is you can drag and drop them anywhere in like on the screen. Um, you can delete them, and you can add new ones. Um, we've got quite a big list here of different ones we can use. I'll just put the email one back. Just drop that back into place. Perfect. Uh, and all the icons snap to grid as well, so as long as you've got them near enough together, they'll snap back in place quite nicely. Um, the other good thing about this is that as well as having this one lifestyle screen, you can have up to five, and to get between them, you just scroll between back and forth, and it scrolls between them as you can see. Um, now this one's a bit barren at the moment, all it's got on it is a Google search bar. Um, so let's add a few more from the built-in library. Okay, so you can see we've got a fair few selections of, of uh, widgets here. We've got um, contacts, you can have a contact there if you use them a lot. We've got a media player, we've got a task list, a picture frame to cycle through all the pictures that are already on the device. Uh, and these are quite nice ones. We've got the Facebook one, which would allow you to change your Facebook status once you've signed in. Uh, and there's also a, a similar one for Twitter, which will allow you to uh, change your or, or add to, uh, Twitter feeds for your account. Uh, other ones we've got of, of uh, importance, we've got a, a, media, a media player one, which uh, you can use to play any media files that you've got on your uh, phone and also scroll back and forth and it will give you details of the playlist that you're using, etc. So that's that aspect of it. You can see on this side, we've just got a clock, we've got our network selection, and then we've got a calendar here. Um, the other good advantage of this piece of software is um, as well as having these lifestyle screens, you also have a professional mode. And if you just scroll up or down, it takes you into the professional mode. Um, this is basically the default as it comes. Um, but you can see it's, it's a lot cleaner of a layout, uh, and it provides you a lot more information relevant to a work environment on the screen. So I think that's a nice touch uh, if you're using this phone for business as well as pleasure to just be able to switch between two different sets of screens uh, relevant to the different roles. Um, at the bottom of the screen here we've got two icons. We've got the launcher which basically replaces the, um, the Windows mobile application launcher found in the start menu. Although you'll notice if you can click on start still and it just brings up the menu as it was. So it doesn't entirely replace Windows mobile 6.5's interface, it just adds to it. Just close that to get rid of it. And you can see there anything that's selectable from the start menu is selectable from here as well. It gives you a list of your recently used applications, but you can also go into the programs file or the settings or the task manager 
and selecting applications that are stored on your Windows Mobile. Similarly, uh, once you're in the launcher, you can move across and you've got the, the programs broken down into um, a variety of, of different categories, so it makes them easier to navigate. Uh, also got a contacts button at the bottom. Uh, in this view, you've got your favorite contacts, uh, which would also have photos that you can either um, use from your, your, your photo library on your phone or on your computer, or you can even download photos from Facebook if these contacts are people that are also on Facebook, you can download uh, pictures from their Facebook pages. Okay, what else have we got? We've got the uh, carousel feature, the button down there that I just press, uh, press brings us to the carousel feature, which advertises all of the features of uh, SPB Mobile Shell. So you see we have the lifestyle and we have the professional screen. We also have a time screen, which shows you uh, time for three different time zones and any alarms that are upcoming. We've got our agenda, which ties in nicely with the calendar application. We've got the weather conditions where we are as a live feed, and we've also got a four-day forecast for that location as well. Here we have a contacts carousel, which is basically an extension of this carousel principle, but for your contacts. So you can spin through there. Obviously, there's no pictures on this, but you can spin through and view your contacts in that format. Also, we have the shortcut to that favorite contacts page and also all of our SPV contacts as well, which is just a copy of your Windows Mobile contact directory. Uh, we also have a call log and we have a shortcut to the menus that are available from the Lifestyle screen as well. Uh, also on this page at the bottom right here, we have our settings from where we can, we can add, we can edit the layout, we can show the Windows Mobile Today screen, um, which is a nice touch. Home. We can also change the background for any pictures that we have on our phone. Let's have a look, or on our storage card. So I know I've got a nice picture of a dragonfly here. Just select that. And it comes up more or less straight away. And one thing you notice is that as you scroll between these lifestyle screens, the picture in the background moves to give a 3D effect. So as I'm on the right hand side, the focus of the photo is on the left. As I go towards the middle, the focus is in the middle. As I go towards the left, the focus of the photo is on the right-hand side. So that's all it basically is to uh, SPB Mobile Shell. Uh, this product is available from the Windows Mobile Marketplace, which is an application on all Windows Mobile 6.5 devices. It will also work on Windows Mobile 6.1 devices. Um, I believe in the UK store it costs between £25 and £30, pounds, which is a lot. But uh, when you consider what you get, you, you convert your Windows mobile device into something that's really a lot more usable and can actually compete with a lot of the Android devices that are out there. Um, I think on the US marketplace, for those viewers from the US, I think it's $29.95 US dollars. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this review, guys. Please leave any questions, comments, or concerns in the, uh, in the comments field below. Uh, this is hopefully the first of many video reviews we'll be doing for the site, www.techmadeeasy.co.uk. Um, so stay tuned and uh, we'll be back with more. Thanks for watching guys.